the brave woman from Ghana of the Asante people. Ya Asantua. Yes. Ya Asantua. She was. This is her town, and she was a queen mother of this town. In 1900, when Governor Hoxton made that of North Shore's demand. A statue is missing. Yeah, a statue was missing. It was right in the middle of the road, but the road construction, when the road construction is over, they're going to replace it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the road construction took over her statue. It's going to come right in the middle again once it is done. Uh, Oh, it's true. When somebody is controlling your funds, the person is able to control whatever you do. This road, when they were being constructed, they said that you have to mandatory put a runabout at a point. The runabout was said that it was causing accident, but just we just had to maintain it. Now we said no, we can't do that anymore. So we're taking out all the runabouts on this stretch and making them straight road. So we're gonna fix uh, street uh, lights. So this is a just so Yasantua was the queen mother of this town. And she was there in 1909, 1900, when Governor Hoxton came for the Golden Stool. <laughs> now, this is how come we had the name, the group called Asante. Before 1690, there was no group called Asante. Asantes are part of an Akan group, a group called Akan. And the Akan, we have today Asante, Fanti, Equiapim, Achem, Bono, Wasa. There are 14 under the umbrella. And this group traced their ancestry from Israel. Of the lost tribe of Israel, the 12 tribes, the history says nine, per, nine different ethnic groups are found here in Ghana, and they are the Akan group and some few others. Now, we had a country or a, a, kin, a kingdom called an empire called the Ghana Empire. Within Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali. That was the location of the Ghana Empire. They controlled the caravan trade between Africa and Arabia. Now, when Ghana Empire fell because the three empires were ravering on the control over the control of the caravan trade, Ghana Empire fell and the people started moving down across the Sahara. The Akan group came in as a group. At a point, they found their separate ways. So when the Asante group, the group that formed Asante, got to the middle portion of the land, they, they lived here, they stayed here, took advantage of the forest and what was on the underground. So gold has been mined before the, why the, Brit, the, the Portuguese call Elmina because they were amazed by the amount of gold dust that was, was being sold when they got here in 1471. And the gold left here and went down to the coast because Elmina was also an important town for salt. So they went to exchange gold for salt when the Portuguese came to meet them. The Portuguese came and called the Mina de Oro, the gold mine. Mina with the Oro became Elmina. Elmina. The, the original name of the town is Edna. So the Ashantis came and lived here. But when they came, the earlier Akan state that came took them as subject. They had to pay royalties every year to that particular kingdom called Denjira Kingdom. But then in 18, uh, 1690, they started planning how to liberate themselves from their colony, from their master. By 1695, they have 
a traditional priest. We call a traditional priest that can call it a Okonfo. The Okonfo led them and helped them, and then through the Okonfo, the ancestors revealed the golden stool. The steps that formed Asante then were about 13. And when they came of the uni union, you know, that was what Nkrumah started wanting to do, and the West sold the idea wrongly and planted see a seed of hatred among African leaders on him. They said Nkrumah wants to become the president of Africa. Yes, we have president of America, the United States of America, which is bigger by I mean I mean not not it may, it may, it may not be by landscape, but the number of people and then the resources that they control. So they said Nkrumah wanted to become the head of Africa. So you are you will only be the head of Tanzania, you are head of Africa, but Nkrumah will be the head of Africa. So and people didn't like that. So Rokonfonoche realized that the states, each and every one of them will want to be the king. The, the cities, each and every one of them will want to be the capital. So he said that the ancestors are going to reveal an object and that object shall come and rest on the laps of one of them. Whoever that object chooses shall become the king. So on a Friday, drumming and dancing, the shooting of the fire of musketry, an object was revealed on the laps on Osetutu. So Osetutu became the first king of Asante. So Asante means because of war. It just that's the, that's the meaning of it. Because of war. It means people that got together as they lived in these 13 separate states, they were so vulnerable that anybody could run over them. So by they coming together, they were very strong and were able, the number one person was their master. They fought for liberation and conquered so many lands. At a point, the Asante Empire became so big than the today's Ghana, but it's expanded to the west and to the east. It went beyond Ghana to Africa and beyond to Ghana to Togo in that direction. So he, by the virtue of the fact that, you know, when you are going to the king's palace, there's no stool there for you to sit. So somebody has to carry your stool and take it there. So when they went for the program and the golden stool was revealed to them, it became like the constitution of the As of Asante. The revelation was that today we're going to all achieve, they trim their fingernails, shave their hair, and other superfluous hair, that you were, uh, superfluous, superfluous hair is any hair that you were not born with, but they came with the time and then burned everything, buried all the stools, and he planted the sword in there. So you may hear a confounded sword site. This is also uh, a tall site here in Asante. With a capital, confounded planted two plants, the same name. The name of it is Kum, K U M. And he said, one of these plants will die and one will survive. Where the survived tree stands shall become the capital of Asante. So in the town, which is about some few kilometers, we used to go to Kumau. When the tree, the plant died, it's referred to as Kum, Kumau. Kum tree, where the Kum tree died. The Kum tree is dead. The one that survived, it became a huge tree. People go under it to take shade and recreate themselves. So if you went to Bomani's home and you're looking for him, they tell you, oh, go to under the Kum tree. 
and the kum tree is called kum asi. That is how come we got the capital as Kumasi. And Kumasi is the second largest city in the country and the capital, the, the, the cultural capital of Ghana. Because the Asantis have a kingdom that is over 400 years uninterrupted. It was interrupted briefly from 1896 to 1924 when the king of Ashanti was seized away. He was taken away because the British wanted to have a control over all the country. But Ashantis, who in the middle, posed a challenge, serious challenge for the people. <clears throat> then they came with the idea that the Ashanti should accept their protection. And Ashanti said, I am stronger than you. We've been to several battles and I won. How do I assert your, pro your protection? They came with the idea that, okay, because during the 1880s, the Berlin Conference, European nations met in Berlin. They had interest in Africa. They met in Berlin and the idea was that they would partition Africa. They would apportion Africa among themselves. The criteria was, if you were a, if you were a Dutch citizen already, or if the Dutch, the Dutch government was already in Ghana, and you are moving west, and you meet a British citizen, that is a boundary line. It doesn't matter if it's a part, if a family you are dividing into two, they will agree, they will agree and put the boundary line there. That is how come in Africa you have some tribes in this country and others in that country. They did it with that, they, they didn't care whatever, they have, whatever happened. So the British from the coast knew that the French were in Ivory Coast to the west of Ghana. And the German then were in Togo to the east of Ghana. So they could not go, they could not have much land going west or east. The only place was for them to go north. And in going north, they have to pass through Asante. That is their arc enemy. So they came with the idea that they want to come and have a Deba, I mean, broker peace. So they will have peaceful passage to go up north to be able to explore more land. But that was a point. The Asantis were sitting in a Deba. A Deba is always a peaceful and colorful celebration, some celebration mood by our chiefs and people or a community. No arms. You know you're not fighting today. You're happy. They were there when uh what's the name of this guy? Baden Powell. Baden Powell was the founder of Boy Scout. Baden Powell marched a troop of about 500 soldiers into Asante. Then we don't have any zinc, so they started torching the buildings, burning the city. Then the king of Asante, I said, I don't remember the first surrender. He was taken away in 1896. He was taken to the Elmina Castle in prison for a while, then to Sierra Leone. But the Ashantis will go to this prison to consult their king because if you are installed as a king until you are dead, you are the king or you are the chief. So let's exile him to the Seychelles Island. Definitely not found him there. And in Seychelles Island, he did not return until 1924 about 28 years in exile. Now, four years after, okay, that is, we will we'll come in here tomorrow, that is Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to your left. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can do it, we have time. Now, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, the entrance is blocked? Yeah, it's blocked. Oh, so yeah, the, you know what I've seen that, my new entrance also. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow we're coming down. So, 
four years they came back and Governor Hoxton demanded the golden stool. The golden stool that is supposed to be the constitution of the Asantis. Yes. He said he wanted a golden stool, he actually wanted to sit on it, and that was an abomination. So the people he came to meet and to meet, man, but they were not talking. They were silent. And this lady, Ya Asantua, got up, stood up and said, Tell the white man. It's only the king who knows the golden the whereabouts of the golden stool. If he bring the gold the, the, the king, he will show him where the golden stool is. And he said, Your king is far away in Seychelles Alan. That was the first time that they knew that the king was no longer in Africa. So he insisted. Yeah, as Antoine stood her ground and said to the interpreter, tell the white man. That tomorrow, ghosts, widows shall find husbands. All of you here, those who came and talk, talk about African spirituality, you acknowledge reincarnation. You, are, you acknowledge that when we die, we go and live in the other world. What Yas and Tua was did, did was, she declared war in a proverb. Tomorrow, because widows shall find husbands. Yes, and to believe that some women who died from this world and they are living in the other world, their souls could not find husbands due to scarcity of men in the other world. So therefore, tomorrow, men will come out and face you and your men. And in the worst situation, some of our men will die. Then they are ghosts going to the other world to marry the other, those other women over there. That was how the Ya Asantua war started. They said, okay, you got to lead the war. She jumped in front and led the war. Ran out of ammunition and went into hiding. So I will say, one of the first people that they put a price tag on her head was Ya Asantua. They said that, okay, anybody that can show us where Ya Asantua is, is your price. Eventually, when they were not getting her, they were now arresting her family members and she gave herself out. When she was captured, when she turned in and they asked her, I just ran out of ammunition. If you want us to start again, provide me some. So she was also taken to the Seychelles Island, but she died in the Seychelles Island. That is here as Antoa, and here we are now in Kumasi. Kum Asi, the second largest city, we are trying to find our way to our hotel, Nikle. Okay.